Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install an SSL certificate for File Browser. Now, in case you missed the File Browser install video, I'll have that linked up above and in the description, but if you wanna pick up where we left off in that video, then let's go ahead and hop right on into it. Okay, so we have our file browser up and running. The only problem is it is not secure because we are not serving it over HTTPS. So we can solve that by issuing it an SSL certificate and installing that on the server. So let's go ahead and do that. Log into your server via SSH. And what we need to do is install CertBot first, okay? Uh, CertBot is going to be the issuer of the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. So there's a couple steps that we have to go through to get to that point. So I'm on my server here. Let's do apt install snap D. That's a package manager that is gonna allow us to get CertBot. And then we can do sudo uh, if you're not root and then snap install core and then sudo snap refresh core. Okay, so we'll let that run, shouldn't take too long. Okay, and then we'll do a sudo snap install dash dash classic certbot. Hit enter and that'll go ahead and grab certbot for us. And finally, we want to make a symbolic link from the snap bin directory, and we're gonna symbolic links the certbot executable to user bin certbot. Hit enter. And now we can actually execute the certbot command to issue the SSL certificate. So let's do certbot, cert only, nginx, hit enter. And this is going to go ahead and let you go through the process of getting that SSL certificate. So type in your email address that you want to be associated with this. And then hit enter. And now it's asking, uh, do you agree with the terms and conditions? You can say yes. Uh, do you want to pretty much put your email on an email list? Uh, I'm going to say no. And now it says, what domains do you want the SSL certificate for? So I'm going to type in tonys.surf. Hit enter. And now it's going to ask it for a, a certificate for tonys.surf. And there we go. So we have our certificate at this location and our key at this location. So basically what we want to do is tell the file manager in that config file that we created about these certificates and these keys. So let's copy this, the certificate, and then we're gonna go back into, if you remember the location of that, the etc directory file browser dot json. We're gonna add a line item here. We're gonna actually put a comma after this last line here. Then we're gonna say for this one, cert colon, and that's the location of the cert. And then we're gonna do one of those for the key as well, colon, and then we'll put the key right here. Uh, why is that telling me red? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see if that's okay. I, I think I'm probably just missing something, but uh, let's come back over here and get the, the key path to the key and then open up this file again and paste it in there. Yeah, I think that was just a, a fluke. We'll paste that in there. So we got our cert and at this location and then our private key. So let's save that. And now since we have our service running for file browser, we can restart that. So it rereads the configuration file. You can do that with system CTL restart file browser file browser.service, hit enter, and just for good measure, let's check the status of it to make sure it's up and running. So we can do that with systemctl status file browser, uh, and it looks like it did fail. So let's investigate why that's the case, whoops. Okay guys, after a bit of investigation, I found out that this was indeed a permissions issue. As you can see here, when we look at the status, it says 
the permission was denied when trying to access the certificate. So what we actually have to do is to open up the system daemon file that we created in the last tutorial. And I kind of misguided you guys here. Um, we don't want to associate this with the user in the group www data. So let's delete those two lines from this file and we'll save that. And, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, restart the file browser service. And that's gonna give you this message saying that the, um, the, the service file changed. So we have to reload the daemon and then let's uh, do the restart the service again for file browser. And then we'll check the status. And uh, my hope is that this time it will come up and it does, it's active and running. So now in our uh, web browser, we can explicitly go to https colon slash slash your domain name colon 8080. That's the port that we're working with. Hit enter and you will be able to access your file browser that way. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Check out some of my other videos over here. If you're interested in subscribing, please do so. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.